there's no way a man should ever seek a woman for dating advice. I'll never be pregnant. I don't know what it's like to be pregnant, and I never will. I don't know what it's like to be a woman. Women and men are built different. See, what a woman will do often, not often, every single time, they will point you in the direction of the desired outcome that they may be looking for or seeking in that moment according to how they feel. They're not going to tell you the, the truth. Not because they lie intentionally, but like they have these women dating coaches on, um, on YouTube. As one lady says, if, uh, say you've been broken up with and your ex calls you three, four weeks later, and like you haven't spoken to this woman in weeks and she opens the text line with, Hey, what was the name of that restaurant we ate at that time? Or such and such a movie. I know you like this movie, such and such a movie zone. You remember when we watched that? She tells him to ignore that. And I'm like, what? Why? You know, this is if you're looking to rekindle with your ex. Why in, why in a world would you ignore her text? And to her, her philosophy is to, unless they say something meaningful. Now, you see, that's not going to work for uh, a guy. That is not going to work for a man. If you ignore a woman who's reaching out, women cannot tolerate rejection like men. That's why I say as a man, learn to just take rejection as a part of everyday life. You got to trudge right through that shit. When you get a no, it's just a no. It's just another word. You move on to the next endeavor. If you get rejected by a chick, on to the next chick. You'll get a yes. But you got to get through the no's. And as men, we can't afford to lose step. You can't lose your balance and lose composure when you're rejected, whether it's a job, a business proposal, getting a woman's number, like anything. You can't afford to wallow in that rejection and have it affect you moving forward. It just means you got to do something different and do it better. So her advice is to ignore them till they say something substantial. I guarantee you. If a woman reaches out to you with a hey and you ignore her, chances are you're not going to hear from her again. Maybe once more, maybe. But the way, especially women, the way women approach after breaking up and having been in the dominant position at the beginning of the breakup, which is to dump her, they're not going to come back and say, hey, your first text message is not going to be, look, I've had time to think about things and uh, I regret what I did. I made a really big mistake. I understand if you don't want to, but could you find it in your heart to talk? I have a lot to say. You're not getting that. You're just not. Once, one out of 10,000, maybe, are you going to see that text come across your screen. So, and that's just what women do is they'll come sneak in from a, a sneaky angle. Hey, that's women's famous words to get attention. Hey. Or they'll tell you to come with some sideways shit. Hey, did I leave my toothbrush over there? Or hey, remember that shirt I left? You still have it. They're just trying to get your attention. They're just poking. They're prodding. They're probing. See where you're at. See if you'll even answer. You know, and it's up to you. Now, I'm not saying you immediately answer that text and then say, Oh, I'm so glad you called. I missed you so much. Where have you been? Uh, why did you break up with me? Let's talk. I can't wait to... That's a problem. You don't want to do that. But you can mirror her and let her warm back up. But that initial text they're giving you, it's called an indirect, direct approach. They're indirectly, the subject is indirectly, directly coming to you. Directly texting, but indirectly as to why indirectly communicating but as to why what they're communicating so that's a terrible idea um it's well known like a woman cannot a woman has nothing to offer you except femininity and if she's your romance partner sex children cooperation tenderness encouragement and honesty and loyalty you don't go seeking advice from how to be a man about a woman. I tell men, don't go see women therapists. Don't go to women doctors. Don't use women lawyers. Some people do. They swear by them. Bad idea. 
I don't know. Maybe we could revisit that. That's up for discussion. Because sometimes women lawyers have more power in court, depending on the atmosphere. Um, when it comes to men, especially not dating, a woman, a woman's experience in dating is a lot different than a man's experience. You got to understand that. They cannot even, women lack the capacity to relate, to have deep empathy, which means to essentially put yourself in their shoes. They can't possibly conceive. If a woman got rejected as often as a man gets rejected throughout his life, they would be in a mental institution. They would have serious mental illness. They would have mental struggles. Um, what attracts women is different than what attracts a man. What's attractive to them? Be rabs. Good to have you, brother. Good to see you back. Um, yeah, to claim to give them tricks and advice on how to attract. No, you shouldn't trust them. And look, attraction is not a trick. Attraction is not a trick. Attraction is an inside job. And this is what I try to tell people. Women are going to have different standards for different men. I've been in a position where first date, I don't know your last name, and we fucked. Whereas another guy who could have be equally attractive or have a lot of the similarities, but she's going to make that guy wait a few weeks or a couple of days. It's just something, you know, so they, they handle each situation and each man differently. A lot of women keep different men in their lives for different reasons. One for attention, one for sex, one for dinner, one for hanging out. Like, if you think I'm lying, get to know a young chick. Get close with her. Get her to, to where she trusts and feels secure with her. She'll tell you everything you need to know. Look through her phone. So, my point being, is even the most attractive, <clears throat> famous men cannot compete in the sexual marketplace like a regular average five walking around in society. A woman walking around as a six can she just get dick on a whim. She has sexual choice across the board, any time of day or night, any day of the week, any situation. She can secure a sexual partner. It's not like that for me now. You can be good, you can be you can be attractive, well-rounded, fit, physically attractive, have money, have all the right qualities. And you're still not going to be able to compete with that six. You just will not be able to. And that's that's nature. That's how it is. Um, that's why women are viewed as slut to hoes if they sleep around a lot. And men are viewed as, you know, players and get pats on the back and get out of boys for that. Because a man who can have sexual choice and options like a woman, that's an accomplishment. A woman who can go get fucked by a bunch of dudes does not. It comes too easy. Our whole lives are a different process. Our whole lives are a total different path and a process for women than it is a man. As a man, you're born, and then you have to prove yourself to get that man card. You've got to improve yourself constantly growing into a man to become a man, to become a successful man. All a woman has to do is not mess it up. She's born with value, inherent value. She comes out of the womb valuable, cherished, a flower, uh, valuable. All she has to do is maintain it and not mess it up along the way. Tell you what, you can have a guy who's a superstar millionaire and if he finds he's where he goes and stops and eats a restaurant, find this cute little waitress that just really knocks her socks off. He will take her, pull her out of being a waitress, marry that woman, give her kids, give her family. She'll never have to work again and live in the lap of luxury. No millionaire woman would ever do that for some cashier. No one would, no woman would ever do that. She wouldn't even look at look your way. She won't even make eye contact when you serve her bread, let alone think about giving you the cheeks and then falling in love with you and marrying you and considering you as a serious long-term option. 
just won't happen. So there's a, a lot of different reasons, but there's no way a man should ever seek a woman for dating advice. 